welcome back to the arena guys today we are here with another episode and in this episode we're gonna be doing some queen charge miners because i love the strategy so much guys it is pretty much easy to use easier than the lava loon i should say but yeah but still it's very easy it's very successful and it's really really great and effective on farming as well so i gotta show you guys a couple of free plays and we'll do a live attack as usual at the end of this video because that's what we are doing on all of our let's play episodes and before we get into that if you're new to my channel make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads and by the way guys if you're confused about the cake like thing with the number 10 that appears on all supercell games whenever you open clash clans and that appears it's nothing but the 10th anniversary of supercell and i made a detailed video about that and i'll be linking that in the description also in the pinned comments and also by the end of the video so you guys can go ahead and check that out if you really wanted to know about that and also about the 100 subscriber special war the clan war leagues are going to be starting so only after the cwl we can do that so you guys gotta wait and some of you guys do register for that so now let's dive into the first example look at that you can check out my attack log i got a lot of success with that three stars after three stars tons of loot with that strategy so until this one so now let's go ahead and show you the first replay and there are a lot of replays right so i'm gonna pick the best one where i can ex explain the strategy perfectly so this is looking like a more open base with a lot of island style but still the strategy works really well and the main thing you gotta focus is your queen charge and since you're charging the queen straight into the base you have to get enough value from the queen charge so you have to protect the queen and not let her go down and the wall break is really going to be difficult here but we still somehow managed to get it under the rage spell so that's when it's always beneficial to use the rage along with the wall breakers and if you take a close look the king has funneled this entire area the baby, dra the baby dragon has funneled on the top and the queen has taken down this section so right now we got a beautiful path for the miners to come along so that is what is the main focus for the miners so once the pathing has been created perfectly for the miners you got to start them also the main key defense that i recommend you guys you have to check is the eagle artillery make sure the eagle artillery goes down or it's very close to the miners if you cannot take it down with the queen charge then make sure the miners get to that so fast so you don't get one shotted by the eagle artillery without the grand warden level 5 miners get one shot by the eagle artillery and it's pretty much game over if the eagle strikes you one time so that was a poor heal spell i have to say honestly because all the miners went to the skeletons and the main weakness of the miners are the skeleton traps because the mechanism of the miners are in a way like they pop up and they beat something and they immediately pop down if that is down so they just pick every single skeleton and keep going down and coming up so it's gonna take a lot of time for the miners to actually get through the skeletons so you have to focus them on the skeletons and make sure you got something to support them or even a heal spell to prevent them taking a lot of damage or even the grand water's ability so that's why when it comes to base building people always keep their skeleton traps on ground because since it's a ground meta you're always seeing the miners and the hawks the skeleton traps are set to ground and they are actually wrecking the miners they keep it near the town hall that's where all the fire is going to be focused on and they're going to pretty much take a lot of damage so the rest of the space is going to be clean up so that final heal spell was not even required it was just swag i have to sell and let's go ahead and check out the next attack 
where we'll completely break down the strategy for you guys. We also made a lot of videos about the Queen Charge Miners because, as I said, it's one of my favorite strategies, and I've been using this over a long time, trying it again and again, and finally got better at that one. So here we go. We're gonna start off the Queen Charge from the top. As I said, I always recommend going for the Eagle because that deals a lot of damage on the miners and your miners aren't that strong enough to take multiple shots from the Eagle. Maybe one shot under the Grandwater Sentinel Tome, ignoring the damage and you cannot take any more shots from the Eagle Artillery on top of your miners because it's gonna wreck them. And the wall break was pretty good. And the queen has got access into the base, and this is a really good base for queen charge miners because this base has got huge section on the top, and the queen is gonna be able to completely take the down. And as I said, pathing is gonna be very very important for the miners, and it's gonna be easy to create on this base. The eagle is gonna go down, and now comes the miners. If you take a look at the base right now this section this section has been taken down by the queen and the king is gonna wipe out some of the outside buildings and now the miners can come straight through in a l-shaped or a v-shaped path and that is when the miners are really strong you have to narrow down the base for them if you have a very widespread base and you're gonna send all the miners too much spread out they're gonna go down quick to all of those defenses. And here comes the first heal spell because they took a lot of damage from the bomb tower as well as the giant bombs. And the queen is going on the right side. The queen walk is still, the queen charge is strong. Oh no, the queen is gonna lock down by the single inferno, which is not good and had to burn her ability right there. But we got a mass minor power moving through this base. And the king unfortunately bent down as he was trying to break the wall. And here we got another raid spell used because the queen went down to the single inferno. That you always don't want to face against single infernos because single infernos are always going to be deadly for your queen walk. Because once if it gets locked on, you cannot escape the single inferno unless you freeze it. But if you don't take any free spells, as I'm doing right here, because I don't usually go with free spells, I always go against multi infernos or single inferno, something like this, where I can get full value out of the queen charge before even the single can attack my queen. And here we go, we got a lot of minus left out. And even though the queen goes down, it's not gonna be matter because you got the healers, which will switch back to the miners. And it will really, really help the miners to get through the base. And that's how you three star with the queen charge miners. It's just gonna be a farming raids, as I said. It's not war attacks, so farm break in a war attack strategy. I will give you guys more tips in depth. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the live attack right now. And I will be giving you guys more tips when I'm doing the live attack as well. And we'll break down all sorts of base identification as well. So let's go ahead and then find a perfect base for the Queen Charge Miners. And here we go. 32 trophies and half a million of each and 3000 Dark Elixir. Does have single Infernos, which I'm not concerned. Yes. One single Inferno is actually upgrading on the top. So we could send the Queen Charge from the top. And the Eagle is pretty much centralized right here. Could be a bit difficult to take down the eagle, but we can multi-layer wall break. So let's go with the queen. Let's use one balloon to test for some any seeking air mines that could really deal a lot of damage to our healers. And the balloon is also going to take down that cannon. It's gonna be like a double value right there. Let's put one wizard. No, the queen seems to walk right now. No, come on. I wall break somewhere there and the queen is going to walk right now. We gotta rage. We gotta press the king's ability. So he's oh the king is gonna come in. He's gonna steal our healers and this isn't going good right now. 
let's use the poison on top of the enemy CC troops and the healers. That single inferno is going to do a favor for us. It's going to take down the king and let the queen get back her healers. And the air defense is going to completely smash our healers. And the queen has to do... Okay, the queen is going to get blocked by the single. This is not ideal. Let's go start with the miners because there's no not much of time left out. The queen is almost dead right now because she's again locked down by the single. I'm going to press the grand one and ability just to save my king and put a... My queen actually... No, she goes down. That was so bad. Queen going down is not good. And the miners getting beaten down by the eagle. We always mess up during live attacks. It's common. Pretty common right there. Okay, the eagle is going to deal, deal a lot of damage. And I think this attack's almost dead right now. We don't have enough miners to get through. Maybe we do, but... Still got two heal spells. Remember, this isn't a maxed out base, so the miners may be able to get through. We're gonna put the first heal right there. I don't really know if that's a good heal. Still got the Grand Warden alive, who's gonna follow the miners. Maybe we will get the three star here because we still got the Grand Warden alive with full health. He's gonna use the Life Aura to get some more hit points for the miners. Okay, things are going good. We still got the final heal spell, which I'm going to use somewhere near the queen because the enemy queen will really, really wreck the miners. So we got to use the heal spell, save it for the final area, and let's go use it. Let's go put one wizard right there. Let's save this archer for the back end. Gold mine up there. I know, time is not going to be enough. We're going to make a time fail. We still got enough miners to get through. But it's going to be time fail because the queen gets locked down by the single king going into the base. You always don't want your king to follow or your queen and take you that healers. You want the healers always on top of your queen and not top of your king. Always try to follow that, guys. Make sure you put your king far away from your queen so he don't steal the healers and make your queen charge dead. So we did get promotion to another league. We promoted to Masters 3 right now. We also got the insane loot bonus. I mean the star bonus. And that's all gonna be for this video guys. I guess it's kind of a let's play episode. Where we showed you some of the Queen Charge minor attacks. And if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And turn on the notification bell. So you don't miss any of my future uploads. I'll be posting another video tomorrow. Which is going to be the queen charge into hog riders because we have the hog heaven event that's going on. Unfortunately, it hasn't loaded yet, but the event is currently going on. So we're going to give you the army composition and give you guys some tips how to complete the event. We don't want to miss it. As always, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you like this video, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell and also comment down below your opinion. And I'll be back with another episode. Until then, stay safe and clash on.